All right, all right, Bourbon Quest. Whew. Once again, it's your host, Bourbon Steve. Tonight, we're doing some Russells. Jimmy Russell. 13-year uh, unicorn. Excited about getting into this tonight. And so, man, my glasses are kind of fogged up there. So this is going to be, uh, yeah, day 22 of the advent calendar. We're getting close to the finish line, but they keep getting better and better for the most part. But this is a highly anticipated bottle. I was uh, fortunate enough to be able to pick up one of these. It is the Russell's 13-year Jimmy and Eddie Russell. Fantastic. So, uh... Yeah, we're going to get into this in uh, just a minute, but uh, if you haven't done so, please uh, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. We're trying to get to 500. We're like at 260, I think. We're trying to get to 500 so we can get a mascot with a, uh, a cat named Q is my plans when we hit 500 subscribers. Um, and also, if you haven't done so, go back and look. I did this probably like two or three months ago you can search it in my channel uh, I did a blind uh, the Russell's 10 year 13 year and a Russell store pick and surprising to me the the store pick that I got from Total Wine beat out this Russell's 13 they were both great it was very close but nonetheless blind I chose the store pick over this but you know it's still fantastic uh, and I think it's like retail 65 70 bucks that's what I got it at retail I already gave you a closer view of the bottle and it's been a good day long shift but anyways uh, Russell's Reserve Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey 13 years old uh, Jimmy and Eddie Russell's autograph on the bottle it says uh, from father to son the bourbon making mastery represented in this bottle is a true testament to the distilling legacy and strength of the Russell family tradition and I give it up for those for the Russell family they, they do a, a tremendous job um, this is coming in at 114.8 proof um, says on here the distinctive bourbon aged 13 years delivers aromas and flavors of aged oak and sweet caramel collimating in a smooth finish that you have come to expect from Russell's Reserve masterly crafted and brought to you by master distillers and bourbon hall of famers Jimmy and Eddie Russell the legacy continues yes sir well I'm excited about trying this again tonight. A little Russell's 13 year in the glass. If you have this, um, please drink along with me. I know it's hard to come by, but it is what it is. Man. So, right off the rip. I'm getting tons of caramel vanilla. I do get a little bit of peanut on there, but not like a not like a typical. Mm. I mean, there's some spice on there, but tons of caramel vanilla, cherry, orange peel, like toasted orange peel. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of toasted orange peel along with cherry. Mm. And you smell that proof on her. I mean, the nose is fantastic. Like toasted orange peel, caramel, vanilla, cherry, a little um, black pepper and baking spice. Mm, it's delicious. And before we go into it, as always, stay hydrated, my friends. I've had this open for a little while now, so it's, I think it's opening up nicely. Mm. 
you get some of that oak and char but toasted orange peel and cherry and vanilla and caramel nose is fantastic on this colors good get our whiskey dizzy so we can get dizzy mm. beautiful nose all right cheers bourbon quest mm. wow it's like rich dark chocolate with um, tons of cream brulee caramel vanilla that toasted orange peel a little bit of nuttiness on that it's fantastic oh man I'm digging this a lot what is it 114 proof 114.8 I believe yeah 114.8 proof mm. I mean it's got a lot of complexity on the nose with that toasted orange peel cherry like even some roasted almond in there yeah like roasted almond caramel vanilla that toasted orange peel and roasted almond are starting to come through beautiful cheers bourbon quest mm. man i'm getting a lot of uh cherry and <sighs> nice hug Toasted orange peel, caramel, vanilla, oak and char. I mean, I, I mean, it's been a little while since I had this and I think it's getting better as it continues to open up. It's got tons of complexity. Um, yeah, a lot of complexity, good mouthfeel and viscosity um, middle to long finish I mean it's fantastic mm. oh yeah the sweet but spice and char and toasted orange man it's really really good it really is stay hydrated my friends All right, it's so good. I want another little pour. I mean, it's got a lot of things going on for sure. I'm really digging this. I mean, it'd be interesting to see how it does against that uh, store pick that I had before it, which I went back afterwards and bought a second bottle of the store pick because I mean they're both great and when I did them blind I picked the store pick but this is freaking fantastic mm. yeah that that toasted orange peel is really coming through on this with notes of cherry and vanilla and caramel and cream brulee a little a uh, little bit of butterscotch it's fantastic I mean, it's, it's better than the, I think I had it one or two other times before this is probably like my third time having it. And now that it's been opened up for a while, it's amazing. Good job, Jimmy and Eddie Russell. Mm. And from what I understand, this is supposed to be a, a thing that they're going to do on a, a continual like annual basis or whatever still gonna be hard to find hard to get by but if you get a chance to pick this up for what 65 70 bucks fantastic mm. 
Oh my God. You get that deep, rich um, oak and char with um, toasted orange peel and vanilla and caramel. It's it's a crushable bottle. It, I mean, honestly, at 114.8 proof, it, um, it drinks a little lower than that. I mean, if I was guessing this proof blind, I'd probably put it like at 110. I mean, so, I mean, not a, not a huge variance there or whatever, but it, I mean, this is a totally crushable bottle. It's got a lot of complexity. It's delicious. It's smooth. I hate using that word smooth, but it is. It's smooth and rich. Tons of flavor. Uh, the right amount of viscosity and uh, hug. It's delicious. It really is. All right, we're gonna go in for the last sip. I mean, I'm trying to make these advent calendars a little short and, and can spice, but this is anything but short and can spice. I mean, if you get a chance, I mean, I think retail is around 65, 70 bucks. Totally a thumbs up with that. With that. Um, I'd pay up to a hundred bucks for this bottle um, but you know the chase is real but if you get a chance to get a, a Russell's Reserve store pick I mean by all means do that it's, it, they're, it's right around the same price point well probably like 60 65 bucks but you know, and, and when I did on blind, the store pick that I got from Total Wine beat that, beat this out, although it was very close. It really was, and I was surprised by that. But this is delicious. And I think this is going to be like on a continual annual basis. So, if you didn't get one this year, maybe get one in 2022, whatever. But, cheers, Bourbon Quest. It's good. Uh, two thumbs up at retail and I would I would go as high as a hundred bucks on this for sure. Mm. Very good. I mean I'm not gonna drink any more of it tonight because I gotta go to work tomorrow. But if I didn't I would at least take one more pour. It's Fantastic. Good job, Jimmy and Eddie Russell. Uh, it's superb. Well, I guess I probably should end the video and close out just by saying um, good night, Bourbon Quest. And as always, my wish for you is that all your Bourbon Quest dreams come true. That's a wrap. Hey. Stay tuned because the next video is going to be Jack Daniels, Coy Hill, unabbreviated. Oh, I can't wait. This is fantastic, for sure. Whew. Good night, Bourbon Quest. Jack Daniels, Coy Hill, tomorrow.